What's up guys? How are you all doing? Hey, welcome to another video in which we will be checking out the Brew Probe. This is going to be a DIY video. We're going to be checking out some cool gadgets that our friends at DF Robot have provided for us to go review and check out. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then stay tuned because it's coming up right here, right now on M.I. Sperry. <laughs> Okay guys, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building a brew probe is what I've come to call this thing. It is basically going to be a temperature probe for uh, measuring fermentation temperature in home brewing. For this, what we will need is a few different things. We're going to be needing the Fire Beetle ESP32, which is basically a Wi-Fi enabled Arduino compatible uh, device that also has a a JST connector for a 3.3 volt lithium polymer cell. So battery stuff is integrated into it. This is from our good friends at DF Robot who graciously donated some of this equipment so that we can do this build. The next thing we will need is the waterproof DS18B20 temperature sensor. So that way we can lower the probe into the actual liquid without damage to the unit. Finally, we will also need one of these Adafruit USB micro breakout boards to begin the build. So let's get to it. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and solder on a header onto only one side of the fire beetle. It's going to be the side with the VCC on it. Then what we need to do is on the included connector that comes with the temperature probe, we need to remove the three-prong shell off of it by lifting one of those pins, and it should slide out like that. And then basically we need to install just single shells so that way we can plug them on. The next thing we need to do is take that micro USB uh, breakout board and solder some connectors connections onto it uh, for the breakouts here. One thing nice about the DF Robots uh, ESP32 is they do bring the positive and negative pins out as you can see me soldering here. So that way you can connect external uh, connections to it so that way you can charge the battery. Okay guys, so the next thing we need to do is 3D print out the case. This is a case design that I came up with. So it's in three pieces. You've got the, the tube lit part that uh, goes into to the uh, rubber stopper or the bung that goes into your fermenter. You have the base and you also have the top. So what we'll do is we'll put this all together and we'll 3D print this out and then we'll install it, uh, install all the electronics into the box. Once we're done soldering those connections, getting that breakout board on it, we'll bust out some uh, super glue and on the 3D printed case, we need to glue the basically the spot that the uh, bung goes onto into place. So we're gonna snap that in now adding some glue to it and let that dry. Next thing we need to do is we need to take some of the sticky tape that I've got. It's double backed uh, sticky tape and we'll put that on there so that way we can stick that board down once we're ready to install it. We'll go ahead and do the same thing to the little breakout board that's for the temperature probe. So we'll put a piece of tape on it as well and then we will also connect the cable that came with the temperature probe to the fire beetle. Then finally, we will go ahead and put the LiPo battery in. So we'll add a switch to it. I went and soldered a switch just on the power rail and slid it into the switch location on the box. And we'll put a dab of glue on that just to make sure that it all stays together. Next, we need to start doing the coding. So you'll basically download the code that's in the link provided below in the description and enter these different fields right here. Update them with your own custom information. Then we need to go to the YAML file in your Home Assistant and configure the following uh, pieces that I'm highlighting right here to make sure that it looks, syncs up uh, correctly with your Home Assistant. Once that is finished, we'll peel the backs off of the devices and go ahead and stick the fire beetle down. We'll insert a couple of screws for the breakout board so that way we have the ability to charge our unit once it's all together. Finally, we'll take our uh, temperature probe and feed it through the hole in the uh, little tubelet that's there and then accordingly uh, attach it to the little breakout board for the temperature probe. Peeling the backing sticker off of it, we will then stick it to the side of the case so that way it all fits in there nicely. We'll then go ahead and tuck in the different wires, make sure everything lines up okay. So we'll just tuck that down inside so that way it doesn't get pinched. Then we will make sure and plug in the battery and then 
do the same thing with the battery wires. Go ahead and tuck them in all nice and neat. Add another strip of double back tape to the battery and we will secure that to the lid of the case just with that tape. It sticks quite well. Once that's on there good, just snap the lid into place. It is designed to snap fit and voila, there we have it. All right, guys, so that is how you make your very own brew probe for homebrewing. If you're a homebrewer like me, this way you can keep an eye on your fermentation temperatures because I know that is a big thing, and it makes it very nice because you can see it anywhere in the world through the Home Assistant app. I want to give another big shout-out to DF Robot. Thank you very much for donating these parts so that way we can have fun building something cool and amazing out of them. They were the ones that donated the Fire Beetle and the uh, temperature probe so definitely check them out the link down below uh, see what the, they have they have many other things great stuff so thumbs up to them also check me out on Twitter and Instructables and all the different socials make sure and give this video a like if you please and give it uh, subscribe if you haven't already so that way you don't miss any more great projects just like this one and guys I will see you next time <laughs>